morning, friends. Welcome to a new vlog. As you probably saw by the last vlog and the date from this vlog, I haven't really vlogged since we left for camping. Uh, so, hi. <laughs> it's Tuesday, October 12th, and I just am trying to keep my head above water here. Uh, work is just super, super busy. And I feel like it's not like broken record, but it is. It's good, though. I... I don't, I don't ever say that really as a complaint. I'm just stating a fact because, um, it's what sucks up my day, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, and then this weekend I'm gone at an event and maybe we'll vlog a little bit. We'll see, um, an event. It sounds super fancy, but, uh, as you guys heard from my clip in the last vlog the, at the very beginning, um, I'm doing a meetup this Saturday, my friend Sarah, um, I showed you guys a couple of uh, blouses from her boutique, and her grand opening is Friday, there's an event on Saturday, or excuse me, okay, back it up, grand opening on Saturday, and then there's like a soft opening, sort of friends and family event on Friday that she invited me to, and I'm bringing my friend Ange along with me to that, so I am off on Friday, off, give or take, <laughs> I'm sure I'll be doing a few things, like pause to sneeze. Uh, and it's down in Fort Atkinson. So that's happening and I need to get myself packed up. I come back from that on Sunday, home Monday, then I leave for Ohio on Tuesday and I'll be in Ohio for like eight, nine days. I don't know. I'm leaving on a Tuesday. I come back on a Wednesday. So eight days. Then we have a concert that night and then Bobby's birthday and like all the things. So I am going to continue to vlog. I just don't know how exciting it's going to be. Not that it ever really is. So another pause for work thing. I just wanted to do a quick check-in because it has been um, so long. Uh, the weather's just crazy weird. It was really warm for October all weekend long when we were camping. It was nice, kind of damp, um, and we only got a little bit of sun while camping, but it really was nice. We had a great time with Wilson and Malpe. It was lovely. And then uh, we actually turned the air on when we came back on Sunday just because it was still a little bit uh, humid out, and it still is right now. The humidity in my house, I did open the windows uh, yesterday morning, and it was nicer yesterday. Today the humidity is like 71%, but it's 60-some degrees, I think, only. Let's see. Yeah, 63 degrees out. So I think we're supposed to dry out a little bit later this week. This weekend, when I'm down there, it's supposed to be, I think, a high of 60. That's a little bit more October-like weather. So... I just want to do a quick check-in to say hello, and I'm going to jump back into the stuff I have here. Um, some of the things that I'll try to show you guys is what I'm planning for things for Bob while I'm gone. I think we are going to grill out on Sunday when I get back on Sunday. I think I'm leaving mid-morning, so I'll be back early afternoon. I'll have to listen to part of the Packer game instead of watching it, but that'll be okay. So that is happening uh, all right, so I'll be, so yeah, so we're going to grill out Sunday, and I'm going to make him some glorious beans to have while I'm gone. Those don't freeze well, I don't think. I, I've never tried it. I just don't think they'd freeze well. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make him a meatloaf, put that in the freezer for him. I'm also going to make him tuna salad, which is one of his favorites. He can have tuna salad either as a meal or as a little, you know, as have a little bit on the side with something he's grilled up. So we think between, oh, that reminds me. I have to take out taco meat for us to have. We're going to have tacos today, probably tomorrow, and I'll figure something else, else out for Thursday. And, um, but anyway, so between the tuna salad, the, I know my hair looks fresher, by the way. It looks cuter, but I just couldn't take it. It's bothering me. Sometimes it just bugs me, even in a ponytail on my neck, and I can't take it. So, what I'm going to try to do here is I have this taco meat. I'm going to try to see if I can get it out in a chunk, cut it in half, put the other chunk back in the freezer. That's, that's what I'm going to try to do here. But between what he grills out, meatloaf in the uh, freezer that he can pull out when he's ready for it, and tuna salad, and glorious beans. He should be fine while I'm gone. He'll go out to eat, I'm sure, with Wilson and Mulby on Saturday. While I'm gone, that's going to be a long weekend in Ohio, I can tell you that. I maybe we'll go down to Amish country again. I'm not really sure. But, at any rate, 
Sorry, I'm rambling now as I'm thinking out loud, so I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll see you in a little bit. Good afternoon. No idea what my lip looks like right now. I am all of a sudden very aware of. It's wearing off. This is the um, Pout Spoken by Jack and Hill in Be Brave. What well, was before it was half worn off. I'm just getting a bubbler here to drink. And that's these I like so much. But uh, it's lunch. Though really, I'm just coming out making a snack. She's going right back in. Um, but what I wanted to share with you guys is I, I'm always hesitant to share anything like this sort of thing because, well, you know, people are mean, but here's what I wanted to say. I am trying, you know, I'm trying here and there just to do things to eliminate extra calories. I'm not like hardcore doing anything right now, but every little bit helps. My point in saying this is, you guys know that I like those wraps. I'm gonna pull them out so that I can show you what I'm talking about. I've shown them a bunch of times. So if I'm gonna have a sandwich for lunch, what I call a sandwich, it's really a wrap. There it is. And these are the things that I use, this Extreme Wellness. Because I like the fiber in there, 50 calories. There's only four net carbs for people that care about that. No sugar added or anything. So I'm really, I really like this mostly because of the fiber. And they taste good. That's the other thing. <laughs> like, it has to taste good or I'm not going to eat it. Um, so my point in, in telling you this is if, if you're willing to try something different, if you're trying to get rid of bread, I don't eat a, a ton of bread, but if you're trying to get rid of bread, but you also, this is the important part, are a condiment person like me. I cannot stand dry food, dry anything. I can't stand it. It's a real problem for me because then I end up using more condiments than the normal person would and the extra calories are hidden in there. So my point in telling you this, I gotta take this out. It keeps telling me that it's connecting and unconnecting from my phone. Disconnecting, unconnecting. Um, so with these wraps, all I put in here is whatever you know, I'm having, whether it's tuna, sometimes it's a turkey burger, whatever it is, but um, all I have to use is a little bit of mustard. So I have a piece of provolone cheese in there, or two, I think two, I think I did one, two. And then I have three pieces of salami. And I just roll it up. But all I have to use if I use these wraps versus a bread product of any sort is mustard. Mustard's not bad for you. And I just use a little bit of it. So, I don't know, this whole ramble was really just to say, hey, try these wraps, and if you're a condiment per person like me, I want to say, it. <laughs> I know a lot, of your, a lot of your kids are around when I'm saying this, so I don't want to say that word, but if you like a lot of condiments, then, um, I gotta shut this, I was just on a Teams call, then try just mustard. It works because these aren't like dry as all get out. I promise. It's not bad. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> it's 4.50 Friday. Nope. It's not Friday. It's Wednesday. And uh, I just got back. I had to run to Aldi, get a couple of things. I'm sure I said I'm gone this weekend. And so I need to make sure Bob had things he needed and whatnot. But I wanted to show you guys. I have a couple boxes of this. You've heard me rave about Wawa pumpkin spice for years. It's been my favorite pumpkin spice because, as I've said before, Green Mountain pumpkin spice and most other ones that you buy are like pumpkin spice, where the Wawa is like pumpkin spice. It's soft and delightful and not punching you in the face with pumpkin spice. The Aldi brand, very similar really close, if not better, than Wawa. Here it is. That's what it looks like. I've not tried it in the bag. They sell it by the bag, too, of course. These are the K-Cups. And let me grab my receipt and tell you, because I don't remember. Very inexpensive. <laughs> There's 12 K-Cups in there. Let me just to keep, keep you guys hear my 
wind chimes. They just make me happy still. Which tells me they were a good purchase. All right, let's take a gander. Um, $3.49 for 12 K-Cups. My friends, you are hard-pressed to find that good of a deal anywhere else. So, <laughs> you know how I love the Aldi. That's my Aldi find for you for today. Other than that, we got some string cheese. I had to get them the organic string cheese because they're out of the regular stuff, so I hope he likes it as well. It was double the price, so here's hoping he, li <laughs> he likes it as well. Um, so yeah, today just same old story. I'll spare you the uh, it was busy comments because it was busy. I can't get these in here. What the heck? Um, there we go. And I did get my makeup brushes washed though. <laughs> Little bits here and there. Both mine and my travel makeup brushes. I really needed to get them ready to go since I leave Friday, back Sunday, leave again Tuesday. So it's very windy, but so delightful. So yeah, that's all I have to report. We're gonna have tacos for dinner tonight. Super exciting stuff. I have everything ready to go. I just need to chop up tomatoes. And I decided we weren't having lettuce because <laughs> I'm leaving. So if I buy like, sorry, I gotta put you guys on again. I need two hands. So if I buy, this is the issue. Which spice do I put you on? Um, do you wanna know? You're on barbecue 3000 and rosemary. <laughs> Those are the spices you're sitting on. If I buy the, you know, three head of romaine, which is usually what I buy, and chop it up, then, I can't get this box open. I've demolished the box. Then it will go to waste because I'm leaving. And I would have had to go to another store to buy like the little tiny bag of the pre-shredded lettuce. So it'll be okay. We don't need lettuce. <laughs> this is what I've decided. So yeah, that's dinner. That's all I got for you guys today. Did my makeup, never got to my hair. I would, sh I would go shoot a video right now, um, the haul video that I'd like to shoot for my beauty channel, but I didn't get to my hair. That's the problem with YouTube today. I can't just sit down with my makeup done and like a messy bun. Like you have to have a perfectly placed messy bun. <laughs> it just, I don't know, anywho. All right, I'm gonna go chop up some tomatoes so that when he, Bob is working um, basically doubles all week, uh, the other guy that he works, so he works, and you guys know he's the shipping department, or maybe you don't know, that's where he is now. He's worked in just about every department of where he works, and this is where he's hoping to retire in this department. And he, so he goes in usually about 4.30, and he works till like 1.30, 2, um, and then he goes to the gym, comes home, whatever. So this week, though, the guy that works eight to four in his department is on vacation. So Bob will go in at his normal time and both of us were wide awake this morning at like two o'clock. So he finally got up and just went into work at 2.30. Well, I think maybe three, he got up at 2.30. So, and yesterday he went in at 3.30 and work, he didn't get home until after five, both Monday and yesterday. And today it's almost five o'clock. So he's real tired, but um, I don't even know where I was going with that. Aside from I gotta chop tomatoes so that I can have some tacos ready for him when he gets home. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good evening. It's Thursday, 5.30. Taking my evening supplements, chewing my calcium. Um, yeah. I was in my office for about 11 hours today. Barely came out. I'm just getting out now. Generally, I work till four, so there's that. Um, <laughs> vitamin C. I have nothing to report. <laughs> nothing aside from. Let me tell you guys, my, my sweet friend Sue. Oh, I, I still work stuff is still going off in there. Um, so I broke a mug that she sent me. And she sent me a new one, which was very sweet. She did not have to do that. It's a Ray Dunn mug that says um, Blur's Day. It is absolutely one of my favorites. 
She sent me this other one that, yeah, has yellow on the middle of it. I have, don't have any other radons that have yellow in the middle. That one says liquid patience. <laughs> I don't need that. Uh, anyway, so she also sent me a box of the cinnamon sugar cookie coffee that comes out this time of year that I love. But here's the note. This is the funny part. She's a bear fan, by the way. As you guys know, I'm a Packer fan. It says, the rule is, if this one breaks, the Bears will win the Super Bowl and the Packers will have seven years of bad luck. Also, Aaron Rodgers will have to cut off his man bun. The weight of the world is on your shoulders. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> she just cracks me up. She has just the best sense of humor. She's so dang funny. So anyway, um, I wanted to share that with you guys. And what else? I have a awards thing tonight. That's a Red Aspen Awards for our like our corporate leg, which is called Sparkle and Roots. And we had the national one middle of September. So this is the one for her team, or Jennifer is her name. It's at 7.30, and I just don't even know. Bob is, I'm sure I told you guys earlier, he's working um, really late all week, like a bajillion hours. So he didn't tell me what he wanted to do for dinner. Um, so we are either going to have, we bought some French bread pizzas from the Church Cuties for a fundraiser, so we have those. Uh, we also have a stir fry, frozen stir fry meal, and we have. Oh, I'm gonna need this tomorrow. And we have um, pot pies. Th those are my options for him tonight. That's all I got in me, you guys. I had to fold that blanket. It was driving me crazy. So that's all I got in me to manage. <laughs> uh, and if he doesn't get home soon. I don't know. It might be Culver's. That might be the option because I'm, I'm just really, really hungry. <laughs> just no time for even. I did come out and have some cottage cheese and like peppers on the side. Um, we'll put this in the mailbox, but that's, that's about it. So yeah, we did figure out meals that I'm going to make for him when I get home from being gone this weekend. Um, oh, we had tacos last night. It was funny that I thawed out like half of what we had left from the taco meat, thinking that there was a lot more in there. I could have just thawed it all out, and we could have had that tonight, but I didn't. So there's that. Because he ate all of it. I, I thought we would have more left over last night, but we didn't. So anyway, I'm going to get the mail. Put this in the mailbox, and I'll check in with you guys. Maybe... I ended that saying that I would check in with you guys tomorrow. That's not happening, probably. So a friend and I, a friend of mine, is going with me down to the boutique situation, the opening that I'm going to, and I'm probably not. I don't know. I don't know if I'll vlog. If I won't vlog, I don't know. We'll see. I'll bring the camera. We'll see what we'll see what happens. Good morning. <laughs> I felt that. Um, it is Friday morning. It is 10.15. Um, my friend Ann is here with me. She's all bundled up because it's, it's freezing in the game house. Jeez. We like it chilly. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, I should throw some waters in there too. So Ann has uh, come down to go, as she came up, to go down <laughs> um, with me to Sarah's boutique opening. I talked about that earlier in the vlog, I believe. And so, because I'm a lunatic, <laughs> I'm washing the sheets that she slept in last night. And so we're pretty much ready to go, aside from um, waiting to dry those sheets and put them back on the bed. I've done a little bit of work this morning. A I've pretty much been working since 7 o'clock. Uh, it's 10.15, by the way. But I also did manage to get myself packed, for the most part. And I've just decided I'm going to do my hair and makeup um, at the hotel before we go tonight. So that'll be fine. I walked in here for something and I forgot. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really want. I just wanted to do a little check-in. Maybe, maybe we'll do a little 
road ramble along the way. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to be driving, so it just kind of depends. And um, yeah, and then I'll take you guys along tonight and show you a little bit of the store as well. So that's what's going on so far. So far, we're still on schedule. When we even though even though we don't have a schedule, but I like to have a schedule. Because it's vacation. Right? Is it the is it vacation though? Well, is it's it supposed to be? Right. Just show you guys. Be, by the way, <laughs> well, Bob has said he's done watering the flowers. So there's one last shot of them looking delightful, and then our lawn just looks very fall like. I like how pretty it looks, but also oh shoot, I need to charge this battery. But also, I am not the one that handles the least. Well, that's not true. I helped him last year. I, do you remember? I, um, I got to use the, the, the leaf blower. And I oh, blew it into big, right. big piles. And then he handled it. Anyway, all right. I'm going to go. I'm going to charge up this battery. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. So uh, we are just finishing getting ready to go grab some breakfast and then head over to the shop again. It was so much fun last night. Um, I did not vlog there last night, but I am going to try to vlog today so that you guys can see. And when I get home, I, I did put them up on Instagram, but when I get home, I will show you guys the things that I purchased. And I'll maybe do try on or something. That's, but I did get two pullover sweaters, a uh, cardigan, the jeans that I'm wearing, this hat. Is that everything I got? I think so. Oh, and a shirt. It's really pretty blouse, actually. Oh, yeah. sure it's a really pretty blouse. So I will show you guys all the things. But I just want to do a really quick check-in, say good morning, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. I'm home. <laughs> I was just chatting with Bob, catching up on the weekend. Um, and I want to check in with you guys. I have not obviously been here <laughs> because, well... I mean, I haven't been vlogging because I just got busy with the day. You know what I mean? And, oh, by the way, side note, I did end up buying this, a big thing of this. I have a few servings left of the other one, but I, I tried packets of that, liked it, so I did get that at Costco. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, I got some of these to take down to my church cuties. Um, actually, it's really for Heidi and... AJ. Bella does not like mint. Um, what else? They asked me to get those last year and I, I got to Costco and they didn't have them. I need to fix my head wrap. I was, I hit my head and so my head wrap was like coming off. So yeah, it was a great weekend. So much fun. Yesterday after the, there were a couple people that came to the meetup. I got to meet Rachel, which was so awesome. And then my friend Michelle that I have met before, she came up as well. So she and I went to have lunch um, with my friend Andrew's along as well. So we went and had lunch. And um, then we just had a real chill afternoon. We went back. I actually took a little, little nap. And we ordered some dinner and watched the Badger game. And then I was up early this morning, of course. So we left about 7 it's about a three hour drive, so got home. It's about 10.30 now. Um, I need to unpack, get a little laundry started, get out to the camper. I gotta get that because of the way things worked. It's a long story, but the instead of Bob just taking the camper, the way that they do now the winterizing of the camper is you pull in and then they do it and then you leave. So you wait for it instead of dropping it and picking it up. But Last year, when they replaced the jack that malfunctioned on our first trip out, they we believe they never calibrated it. So when the when the leveling system is done doing its auto leveling thing, the camper instead of being like this is like this. It's the the back jacks, which is what they replaced, go up too far. So it's not a big deal once we figure it out. We let it do its auto level thing, and then we put the level on the on the entryway and Bob just drops it down until I tell him it's level and then that's that. So it's not a huge deal, but it should work properly. So, and then there's a recall on something with the propane valve or something. So, um, he is going to take that and then leave it with them, which means all of a sudden I have between now and really Monday, so today and tomorrow, to get the camper cleaned, all the stuff, I have most of the stuff pulled out of it, the stuff that I finished cleaning, whatever, they go back into it. I go, anyway, I will, I've, I've got some work ahead of me. So I'll probably take you guys out there 
with me. Uh, I'm just going to take out my Bissell Zing and some hot water with a little bit of Tide in it and do a wipe down of everything. Just it takes me probably about an hour, hour and 15 minutes to get everything, you know, cleaned and, and put away. And then Bob will put um, dryer sheets in all the little nooks and crannies too. And that help, helps to keep any critters out. So in case you didn't know that trick, there's a little trick for you. So, but I want to show you guys this before. Uh, for uh, Red Aspen, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to see where I can get you guys some good lights. So I'll, I'll switch you around here. But we released a uh, new quad for all of you neutral lovers out there. This is called the Golden Leaf. Here, let me show you. This is the outside of the packaging. Beautiful. Um, and so it's called the Golden Leaf Mini Palette. And, hold on, I can't do it with, with one hand. Look at how pretty. Just stunning. So I'm so excited. I'm not sure. So apparently we're going out for dinner tonight with Wilson and Malpe, kind of for our anniversary since I am leaving on our anniversary. And they didn't go out. They weren't able to go out last night because of multiple things. So we are going to do that, and I'm glad because then I get to participate in the going out to dinner with them uh, because then I won't be around next weekend at all, obviously, because I'll be in Ohio. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I need to unpack my stuff, get to cleaning, Packers play at noon, which is why there's this big brush. And then I will check back in with you guys. But I'm going to get going, get some laundry started, and do all the things. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, you guys. It's uh, 3.43. Um, I know I look horrendous, but it's fine. Um, this is real life, y'all. So change of plans. We are not going to dinner tonight. Um, Wilson isn't feeling up to it. I'm just looking what. We just finished watching the Packers. Um, beat the bears and uh, so because I was going to hop in the shower do all the things get ready but since those plans changed um, I'm going to start working on some prep for Bob I'm going to make meatloaf for us to eat tomorrow night for dinner so he'll have that leftovers I'm going to make glorious beans for him I think I already said this so this is why I'm going quickly I'm going to make tuna salad So, but I asked him to buy me hamburger and instead he pulled some out of the freezer, which is fine, except that I can't freeze the meatloaf then. For me personally, I find that hamburger that's been thawed, we did this once before, that's the only reason I know this. So I can't say that I've, like I have some vast experience with this, <laughs> but when I had a surgery once, a few, I don't even know, when I had my hysterectomy, I think. I made a meatloaf, I had thawed meat, made the meatloaf, and then put it in the freezer. And then when we had it, it was not good. It was less than delightful. So that's okay. Um, we are going to, I'm just going to kind of hope for the, I'm looking to see what he bought himself to grill up. Y'all, because we're, we're going to grill out tonight. That was the original plan before dinner, so we're back to that plan. Look at this. Um, cheddar worst. But look at the size of these burgers. Like, honestly, they are, they got to be a half pound each. Yep, pretty much. Anywho, so I'm going to cut his vegetables, make his meatloaf, um, go fold my laundry first. <laughs> the dryer's going up. We have some peppers left from the garden. I'm chopping those up for him. Um, I'm going to put together, as I said, you're on your own for vegetables for next week, my friend. Um... So, yeah, I can only do so much. And you can't do vegetables, like, for two weeks at a time. That's not, that does not work. It does not fly. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to have this Diet Coke, which I don't normally have in the middle of the day, but I'm kind of tuckered. So, yeah, you're all caught up. That's what's happening so far. Not, not super exciting, per usual. Mm -hmm.